You guys wanted to know how I make my coffee in the morning that doesn't break my fast. Did I get something on my shirt? No. Kitty. <laughs> no. Um, so, I am a coffee lover. And when I started intermittent fasting, I was like, yeah, if I can't have coffee, I actually won't do this. And that was six years ago. So, um, really extremist intermittent fasting people will absolutely tell you black coffee or nothing. Some, some of them will even say no coffee. And you know what? I can't do black coffee. I won't do it. I actually enjoy my life. I want to enjoy my life. Coffee is a big part of my enjoyment. I look forward to my morning coffee when I go to sleep. So for me, if it's an extremist view or not intermittent fasting, I'm not intermittent fasting. But again, I don't take an extremist view. So um, this has worked for me for years and I'll share it with you. I had to give up hot coffee because I needed too much cream. So now I use cold brew and I always get vanilla because it tastes good without a lot of cream. I mix it with a little water because even though I'm a caffeine addict, cold brew is extra strong. So fill it up to probably about there. This is Grady's cold brew, French vanilla. Freaking love it. Amazing. Available in a lot of healthy-ish stores. So the trick is no carbs, no sugar, no protein, and or less than 50 calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no protein. So no collagen in your coffee. This is heavy whipping cream. You can use about a tablespoon, you can use about a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and be under and be at the 50 calorie mark. So that's what I do. Again, would it be perfect if I drank black coffee? Yes, I wouldn't intermittent fast and there are a million other people who feel the same. So I add a tablespoon of heavy cream, we add ice. And the most, the most important part, lots of cinnamon on the top. And you have to be careful because you can walk around with cinnamon on your face all day if you're not careful, but it's worth it. Cheers. Yum.